Hi, I'm Allie. Join me for this multi-row right angle weave Varuna bracelet. We're gonna be making a series of Vs and really accentuating that through those multi-rows. Remember, if you need any materials, go ahead and look below the video. In the description, we'll put links there to the exact supplies that are used. Gather up your bead on it board, your materials, and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is create our series of our Vs. And we're gonna be using right angle weave for the middle section. Very simple, if you watch the heart patterned beaded bracelet, you'll notice the same exact pattern because it's just right angle weave. We have a stop bead at the end of our thread and I'm using a size 10 beading needle. And the first thing I'm going to do is create my beginning block of my right angle weave. That is going to consist of one, two pearls, followed by one of my bicones, followed by another one of my pearls. Having those four beads on your thread and needle, go ahead and let that drop down to the very end to that stop bead. I'm not leaving a ton of thread down here because we're going to be adding the clasp as we go. So we don't need to go back and put a clasp on the end with just that little tiny bit of thread. From here, to complete the right angle weave first unit, I want you to sew back through, starting at that stop bead, beads one, two, and three. You're gonna be exiting through the alternate or that different bead that you've used. This is now my first right angle weave box. I've got my bead to the left, bead to the bottom, bead to the right, bead to the top. When I do my next unit here, I need a bead for the bottom, a bead for the right, a bead for the top. I'm gonna sew into the bead my thread is already coming out of from the opposite side. So I've added those three beads and I'm sewing into the top because my thread was coming out the bottom of that right hand side of that box. That's gonna form my next right angle unit. And I still need to get to that outer right side. So I'm gonna sew through the bottom bead and out through the right hand side of that box. And there you have your next right angle unit. Once again, my pattern, grab one bead, the same color I'm coming out of, my alternate color, and then the same color that I'm sewing into. Threads coming out the top this time of that pearl, go into the bottom, which brings those three beads that I just added into a nice circle. So through your beads, this time it's through the top, and then down and make sure your thread and needle are coming out the right hand side of your last raw unit. You're just going to continue building this center row of your project, creating that starting V with your beads, again that pattern of the same color you're coming out of, alternate color, same color you're coming out of, and you'll notice that V starting to take shape. You're going to do this the whole way through that center line of your right angle weave, and your clasp is, in, is gonna add a little bit to it distance wise, so I want you to do this for about six and a half to seven inches, creating that opening V section. Once you get to the end of your first row, we're gonna be doing a total of three rows, you need to build the other row. So we've built the center, we're gonna build the right and the left, basically. Coming out that last right angle unit, I'm gonna sew through the bottom bead, and then normally, I sew through so I'm coming out the right-hand side of the bead. I'm not going to worry about doing so because I don't need to add any length, I need to add width. So coming out here, I'm going to add a pattern of one of my next color bead. So whatever bead you're coming out of here, you're going to add one of the next color. Then I'm going to add one and two of the alternative color. I'm gonna take my needle and thread and sew back through that bottom bead. So it's now gonna become the top basically of that right angle unit. And give a nice tight pull. And you can already see how that V is starting to take shape. From here, so down through the right side of your right angle unit. And here's what I'm going to do. I like to sew in the same direction. So I'm going to flip my project. So I'm sewing from the left towards the right. Just like we did previously, I'm going to sew through that bottom pearl. And I'm going to come out through the right hand side of this right angle unit. 
as I come out the right hand side of this right angle unit, you can see that you're lined up to keep going with that right angle unit because you have that beautiful V in there. From here, on the right hand side, I notice that my next right angle unit, the top beat is already there. So each row of right angle, as we did that center line, we added three beads. As you add rows on the right and left, you're gonna add just two beads at a time. From here, we need to get our next beads in, ready to go for our black V. So we have two beads that are already in here, the two pearls, and now we're gonna add two of our black color of our beads. We're gonna sew up through the bead that's on the right hand side of that last right angle unit, which is now gonna become the left side of the unit that we're completing. From here, sew through the top of that unit, which was the bottom of the one above it, and down through the right hand side, exiting through the right. We're always exiting through the right side of the block we just completed. From here, we know that we need our next two, which is gonna be our alternate color because we want that V to keep going with the pearl. So we're coming out that black bead and we're gonna do one and two of our pearls. We're gonna utilize the bottom of that right angle unit above it. We're gonna use that bottom, which is now gonna become the top of this next unit. Adding those two beads, we're gonna sew through the top And once we sew through that top, just like we've been doing, sew through the bead on the left and down. And your series, of, your thread is always a series of figure eights. Sewing through the bottom and once again, coming out through the top. Coming out that right hand bead of my right angle unit, you can kind of stick it and sit it down and you know what the next beads are that you need to add. I need two of my black beads to keep going in that V. Now, I already have the top there, but I haven't sewn through it yet. So take your needle and thread, sew through the top. That's bead number one. Then you're gonna add your two beads and then go back through the left-hand side of the raw unit that you're working on. From here, sew through the top of the right angle unit. And once again, exit through the right-hand side of the unit that you just completed. So see how we're starting to get that nice V shape and as we do the other side then it'll be exaggerated by the presence of two more beads on each row. So go ahead and continue down the whole length of your bracelet adding in two more beads of the opposite color every time you're working on your units. Once you get to the end of the bottom row here you need to get your thread and needle to the opposite side to continue in that V pattern. So you're coming out the top here. Normally we would go into that right hand side bead of that raw unit and continue on. Instead what we're going to go, do is go through the right angle unit that sits in the middle. Going through that pearl, making sure not to go through the stop bead, and then you're going to sew so that you're coming down through the pearl on the top of the project. What was the top of the project though, just like we did previously, is going to become the bottom of the project and we are going to flip the project so that we were still sewing in the same direction. This is then gonna get us set up and ready to go to start adding in our V as we go the opposite way. Once you turn the corner then, I have the beads here just to show you and to set them up. We are going to be adding again three beads as we start this next row and then two beads each after that. Coming out that bottom of that center, you're gonna add a pearl, and then you're going to add two of the alternate colors. The pearl's gonna finish out the V on this side, sewing back in then on the left towards the right of that, what is now the top bead of that raw connection there. I want you to sew down, then coming out the right-hand side. And just like we've been doing now, we are ready to continue on that stitch. Previously, we were doing two of the same color. As we turn here, you are going to be doing one of the color you're coming out of and one of the color that you're going into. So we are going to be doing one of the pearl because we're coming out of the pearl 
and then we're going to be doing one of the crystal because we're going into the crystal. Finishing up this right angle unit then, you'll be able to take note as we start the next one. Here, coming through, always again getting over to that right hand side. And once I'm coming out the right hand side here, I notice that, all right, the one that's going to be on the bottom, which we're actually going to add second, is going to be my black bead. The one that I'm going to add on the right is going to be the pearl. Now we need to get ready to set up with those beads and go in that direction. So I'm going to sew through the top, which is going to be the bottom from our center row. And then when you're coming out the top here, you're going to add the color that you're currently coming out of and the color that you're going into. Go ahead, connect to that right angle unit there. You can see that I start to get crafty there and go through two beads at a time. You just need to make sure when you do that, that you give your thread a nice tight pull. Pull the thread, not the needle. When you pull the needle, what happens is it frays the thread that's actually in the eye of the needle. Coming out then that right hand bead, continuing on. The bead you're coming out of, the thread uh, color you're coming out of, the one you're going into. And you can see how that nice V shape is taking place. So once you're done with this second, or the third row, I should say, I'm gonna have you attach the clasp. I'm gonna go over the clasp and how to attach it when I go to the other side, which you can always go in and attach the clasp after, not a big deal. But just to generally walk you through it, coming out here, I did three beads up through loop number one, back down. Through that bicone, three beads, through the loop, back down through that third bead, down, two more beads into my center. Then skipping over the center one for now, up through, three beads, through the loop, down through that same bead, two beads, through the bicone. Here on the end, three beads, up through the loop, back down in. And as I came back down in here then when I got to the center, I went through the pearl, back up through the two side beads along here, added two more beads through the loop, two more beads here adding to the side, and circling around. If you can sew on a button, you can add a clasp. What we're gonna do now is start to create our Vs. I did wanna show how pretty this bracelet is. Even if you don't go in and do the actual um, seed bead section, you can keep it open and have this nice just crystal and pearl V bracelet. What we're gonna do is work our thread and needle down so that way we are coming out one of the side jet beads. So here I am, I'm gonna go down through my project, out to the outer edge here. And whenever you go through right angle weave, you always wanna make sure that you are snaking your thread back through the project to make it look seamless and that you don't have any extra thread showing. You never wanna go right down along the outer edge because we don't wanna see that extra thread. From here, we are going to pick up our seed beads and these seed beads are going to lay right along that center V when you're working on it. So I have on here my eight seed beads. I'm going to add a ninth. Sew through that center black bead of that V. So you're coming out the right side of it. This just sits right along that section there. Same deal here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. Keep in mind that if you would like to, you can use 11 OC beads. The count's just gonna be a little bit less. And then you go up through the bead on the right hand side to accentuate that V. That's gonna get us that first V in there and we're gonna circle around our thread in order to continue getting our Vs in the design as we continue to go. So coming out the top of the bicone, you can see I did the one before just so you could see the effect of that V. You're coming out the top of the bicone and we are going to accentuate that V by sewing through that pearl. So nine beads through the bicone, nine beads back up through the corner bicone. Add seven beads, sew through the pearl in the center. And then after you sew through that pearl in the center, you wanna add seven more beads. Once you have those seven beads on, going back into that same bicone on the right hand side from the top to the bottom. 
and see how that makes that V pattern stick out and has that V shape still occurring. From here, we need to get down back to the next bicone. You're gonna go through the bicone. I'm gonna turn it actually to the back so that way you can see a little bit better. We're gonna go through the bicone. That's next to it, right there. We're gonna sew down through the next bicone, through our purl. So I'm just doing basically a big S, coming there, here, down, over, I'm gonna flip it over so you can see where my thread is. And then guess what? I'm ready through my next bicone. So I'm gonna do that one more time. And then when I'm coming over here, I'll show you one more thread path of how you're getting down to your next starting position. All right, so that next thread path again, I'm coming down through the bicone after coming out, down, around, circling through with the pearl and back around. I'm going now showing from the top through the four millimeter bicone that sits right after, down through the four millimeter bicone that sits underneath, over through that purl, and now down through the bicone and ready to go. If you need to add more thread, like you can see I'm going to need to do, because I often start off with less than that five feet, I would always rather add thread, then pull tons of thread through my project, which weakens the thread as you're doing it. And also it just takes longer to work with. As I'm doing that circling of my thread through the different beads, that's when I'm gonna tie off the thread rather than doing it as I'm adding seed beads. Once you get to the end of this lovely lined bracelet here, we are going to be adding the other side of our clasp. So remember how I kind of talked you through how we did this side? I'm going to show you this side because it's a little bit more difficult, not going to lie. This Potomac oval clasp is amazing, but in order that you don't see a ton of extra loops, these are turned to the side. So how are we going to add them? Instead of coming out of that last bicone and creating my V, I'm going to add one, two, three of my, and four of my 11 or 15 OC beads. I want you to go to your class, make sure that it is the correct side facing up. You do not want to be sad, finish your bracelet and realize your clasp is on wrong. And I'm gonna sew through that first hole. So see how I'm sewing through on an angle. That is going to be the key as you're working with this. I'm then gonna come back down through those four seed beads and go into that first bicone along the edge. From here, I'm gonna mimic the other side one, two, three beads. I'm going to once again sew into the next hole going up through the side. From here, I'm gonna do that nice tight pull, making sure that I'm going back down through that first seed bead. Pull that thread closer, add two more seed beads, and sew through your next pearl. Now you'll see the stop bead is there. Don't worry, we'll come back and we'll attach to that and just get that nice tight turn. From here, once again, one, two, and three C beads. So this is the exact same thing that I did on the other side. I was just going into loops. Sew along the side here, up on an angle, back through the last bead, sharing the thread. Two more C beads go on, and then in through the next crystal. And out. My thread's a little looped here, unloop my thread. Get that stop bead out of the way. Oops, sorry, I should have skipped that one here. So I'm gonna sew back out. I should be skipping the middle for now and going into the fourth. So, tricky, tricky, when you sew out through thread, sometimes it does not sew out, so just kinda be careful here. Go back up through, making sure I'm going through that clasp. I'm going to come out through the clasp and catch on to number four. Once I come out through this, the crystal along the side, I'm going to catch on to the fifth loop here, adding three C beads as I sew along. We'll come back then and reinforce and we'll connect to the middle. So to connect to that center loop, and you can see that I've gone along the line, sneaking back in here and coming out the pearl. I'm gonna go up through 
the two beads on the closest side of that V. I'm gonna add one more seed bead. So through that loop, come back down through that same seed bead. And then after you come down through that same seed bead, you're going to link over to the two beads that sit on the next little connection point. Pull that in, and that sits right along the center there of the design. And you can see on both sides, it just kind of caps it right there, nice and easy as you're working with it. I'm gonna go along, reinforce, take this extra thread and get rid of that thread and needle there, tie the two thread ends together, and go over how we are going to glue in our oval crystal here for our clasp. Once you've got all the thread in your clasp reinforced and you have this beautiful connection here, you just need to burn the thread ends off. Now what I'm gonna do is bring my two thread ends together. I have them towards the back, that starter thread and the end, taking the needle and thread off and I'm just tying them in knots. After I tie them in knots because they are hidden in the back, I'm gonna burn down both thread edges. Now there'll be some cases where you want to sew those thread edges into different directions and continue them down the bracelet a little bit. Because this is a little bit chunkier on one side, although it is reversible, I'm just gonna burn down flat against the project and finish off this thread end. From here then, we're gonna flip this guy over and get ready to add our clasp. So when we're adding the clasp, I wanted to show how I would go about creating the glue situation. So a tendency for a lot of people is to use more glue than you need. You only need a small strip of glue down the center here of this design. I'm using the Loctite. I have that small bead of glue down the middle. It's been kind of hard to see in there. I'm gonna take my crystal now and I'm gonna plop it in there and just push down nice and hard. Now every once in a while you'll have one of these crystals where you kind of have to mush and move it a little bit to fit in just because of the natural cut tendency. But right now I'm gonna push it in there, hold it in, one, two, three, four, five, and then sit it down and let it dry a little bit. But doesn't that give a beautiful finish to this awesome Veruna V uh, Raw bracelet? Thanks so much for joining me in this multi-row Veruna V bracelet. I hope you realize that you can do different patterns, creating a different version of the bracelet, which you can actually post a photo of in our Facebook group for beading and jewelry making. I love to see what you guys are cooking and what you guys have done for this Veruna bracelet. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything from us here at Potomac Beads. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more inspirational videos.